darling just reading a few of the comments apparently uh, we've changed apparently we're incredibly unrelatable now I don't know. never mind I'm already missing my like mum friends from London because we were really lucky that we had a really like good group of like four or five mum friends that were like in the immediate area so it would be really easy to just meet in the park in five minutes or they'd come around when it was raining or whatever and the kids all got on and we all got on and yeah I just kind of like uh, that's probably going to be the thing that I miss the most so I'm really keen to meet new people and for Grayson to make new friends as well I think it's really important for him to have a couple of buddies in the area I am basically mummy no mates at the moment Hi then! Everyone ready? Yes, Stefan. Rumours are this is the most haunted alleyway in Bath. We've come for a pizza. Yeah. And Grayson has a salt shaker that looks like a boob. <laughs> I'm so mature. It's a little bit I'm facing up with bloody hands and face until the daylight breaks in blanket light. I've got a heavy heart. You're pressing on. It's really weird coming back and living here again as a parent because last time I lived here I was a student, so completely different set of like priorities and things that I kind of wanted from the city whereas now coming back as a parent it's like where's the nearest soft play where's the nearest park where are the like um, child friendly cafes and stuff whereas before it was like all bars and that type of thing gonna go and try out a new soft play now and we'll go to London. See you later love. See you later. Mwah. See you later Grace and have fun at soft play. Hey, wish us luck for making friends. Good luck, <laughs> good luck making fun friends. I've had to come back to the house just to pick up a few extra loose ends and sort some stuff out. It's kind of really hit me now walking into this place and just seeing it empty like this. It's 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 an odd feeling, it's, it's bizarre. It's, I feel a bit displaced. I said it a couple of weeks ago, but like I can almost, I can almost hear everything that ever happened in here. You only have to flash back a few months and this place was just full up and Grayson was coming up the stairs after his day in the park and the TV was on and Hannah was in the kitchen pottering around and I'm upstairs just doing my editing and it's just got this quietness to it now this odd quietness. The funny thing is, it feels small. I thought when we emptied all of our stuff out of it, it would look huge, but it doesn't. It feels a lot smaller. I remember bringing back Grayson here and just sitting on the sofa with him there and just having him on my knees and Hannah was in bed, asleep, and I was just looking at this tiny baby that we just brought back and just thinking, oh my God, what have we done? <laughs> we 
we've made this little human. What are we supposed to do with this? And we're just falling so in love with him. And that was just right there next to me. Why this house is so important to me, I think, is because this is really where I first learned how to be happy. It's like coming back to see an old friend, but they're not the same anymore. I, I really loved this place. The other mums are so, so friendly here. I couldn't get over it. Like everyone wants to chat and they're just so welcoming and so lovely. I was just kind of chatting away while Grayson was playing really. He had a great time. He did lots of fancy dress, didn't you little one? Yeah, he did lots of fancy dress up. It was just really nice. So we'll definitely be going back to that play group and everyone's so helpful in like telling me which um, play groups to go to and which areas to go to and stuff. So I'm so, so glad that we went. I'm back from London, I've just been doing some editing and I need to go out now and get some dessert because we have a couple of friends coming over tonight. Thanks. Dessert and meatballs, yeah? Yeah. That's it. Love you. Okay, I love you in a sec. So tired. 12.30. Right. When's the last time we were up at 12.30? Don't, don't leave me back about that. Why? Are you scared? No, don't leave me. Okay. Hannah's like 40. She's still scared of being downstairs on her own. This view is crazy. You can literally see like the whole of Bath from here, can't you? Yeah, you can. It's so pretty. Isn't it? You could sit and look at this, couldn't you, for hours? I don't know if I could look at it for hours. Hours is an exaggeration. <laughs> Probably like half, like an, half hour. an hour. <laughs> I reckon I could sit and look at this for half an hour and not get bored. Two months, that's all it is, isn't it? Yeah. Two months. That will go so quickly. Yeah, it will. I wonder if this one's going to look like Phil Collins as well. Aww. Grayson did look like a face in the moon, he? was so he? chubby, yeah. Big round face. And his fat rolls had fat rolls. Do you remember when he had no neck? Because yeah. he was so fat. <laughs> Moving house is a, a, no, quite arduous, no, no. but in comparison to like having a new baby, it's nothing. Yeah. Is it really? No. New oh, baby's hello. just like. Hello, Harold. Hello. 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 You're so lovely. <laughs> Everybody's nice to him. So yeah, so it's okay. Nice to him, but it's a vicious yeah. circle. <laughs> Harold, come here. Because one day Bye, Harold. You're really not going to like him. Sorry. You're going to be in trouble, Harold. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Dog, come on. No. Oh, poor Harold. Oh, my God. Harold's oh loving life. Oh, my God, life. Harold's got so much energy. I've never known anything to love life as much as Harold. I love his name. Harold. Because of dog Harold. How many people in Bath, I think? No, I'm not looking forward to, like, the first year, because I think for a lot of guys, I don't want to generalise, but for a lot of guys, you're just quite bored for the first year because there's not, they don't really do anything. But now Grayson's super fun and super fun to play with and I can fight him and wrestle him and we can and play games. And he can have a conversation. And I can have a conversation, he has an imagination. But when babies are babies, they're just like, they're just complete idiots. They don't have a clue. They're, they're like, really cute. They are, well, sometimes they are. Most babies aren't though. I see pictures of him from a really long time ago from when he was like one or like six months old and it still looks like him but it doesn't at yeah, the same yeah. time. Slightly Like his face it, yeah. has changed so much. Like mm. there's more shape on his face now. Sometimes when his hair's all layered, he looks like a sprout. 
wonder what he thinks you look like. <laughs> <laughs> it's really relaxing up here. Mm, it is, really peaceful. This would be a good place to come if you were having a bad day. It's like away from the madding crowd, isn't it? It's one of those... Yeah. It's a bit like how you feel when you go to the beach if you're not feeling mm. very good. Like, it just mm. kind of clears your head a bit. Not that I was having a bad day, but I just imagine if I was having a bad yeah. day, it would be quite nice up here. That's where we nearly moved into. Look, up there, right up that hill oh, where the it? car's going up yeah. it. Yeah. And right up there near that church. Do you remember oh, that was the oh, church yeah, yeah, that we stopped yeah. in? Oh, wow, yeah. God. So, like, literally the other side. Yeah. It's weird some of the, how some people have reacted to us moving here. Mm. It's, I, I, it did take me a little bit by surprise. A few weeks ago when I just we did that video saying, please unsubscribe, where I just said to people, look, if you don't, if there's anything about us you just dis dislike, just don't watch us. I thought that would have purged a lot of them, but it seems like a few of them have come through. And I, I, I you know, I, it's weird. I, it's, a, it's a little bit sad, I suppose, that people feel that you have an agenda or that people mm. feel, that, feel that, you're, you know, that you're untruthful or, or they yeah. just think that you're not being honest or something. Mm. It's like there's no not being honest. I think I personally just felt frustrated because even though you watch somebody on YouTube or you watch like a certain segment of their life or whatever, you know what they've chosen to share with you. Yeah, and yeah. you never really know what other issues they might be dealing with or like you've kind of always got to be quite mindful of the fact that it might get portrayed in a certain way, but it quite often isn't yeah. as like rosy as it seems. Yeah. For lots of YouTubers, I think. like No one wants to put out really negative content. So it's just, I think that's important to remember that they might also be dealing with something that they're not sharing or... I feel like in life you always have to run at the slowest pace. A lot of people know if we say something, it's obviously just taking the piss. Yeah. But a lot of people are too stupid to know they're taking the piss and then get upset about it. So you always have to go at the slowest, per at the slowest pace mm. if you see what I mean in life. And that's the frustrating thing about it. It's, it's like guns are illegal because there's a few mental people out there who will do stupid things with guns. But it doesn't mean, like, if I had a gun, I'm not going to go and do anything wrong with it. I'll yeah. be a responsible gun owner. But this is just an example. I'm, you know, no intention of owning a gun. But it's just an example of, like, you, but you ban them because there are idiots out there who will take that gun and do silly things with it. Mm. You see what I mean? So you always have to, everything in life has to be engineered around the slowest people. And it's the same with YouTube. You have to, what you say and how you articulate things has to be said in a way that runs at the slowest pace. So, you, so, it's very difficult to mm. actually truly and honestly project like, yeah. 100% of yourself. I do feel like sometimes I purposely won't say things because I, I, you know not that I received. can't, not that I can't, not that the like backlash like really like affects, affects you, me, yeah. but I just can't be bothered to deal with it. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't want to waste time yeah. like reading shitty comments about myself. So yeah. I'd rather just not say things in the first place mm. than have to deal with the silly things that will come back from that you know there's a responsibility to sometimes look at something that you've said and be like i should leave this in because it is us and if you keep watering yourself down and not ever saying anything with any substance to it or that could offend somebody then you're not really being yourself you're just kind of being you're just moving your mouth and not saying anything right anyway should we go um for a walk yeah. I thought we got quite, quite deep quite quickly. Oh, I haven't got a watch on. <laughs> You're just looking at an empty old wrist. <laughs> um, it is quarter past four. Yeah. Should we go? Let's go. Can you, you help me up? <laughs> I love you. Come on, Mama. <laughs> what are you going to do? Wake him up? Do you want to go to home base to buy some shelves? Everyone's um liberal democrats around here. I did a um one of those quizzes that you do online and you talk about all your values and what you believe in and I thought it would always be like I would be Labour, would be quite like would be who I'd vote for. And it turns out that I'd be um, a UKIP voter. <laughs> I'm joking, it wasn't UKIP. It was um, it was Liberal Democrats. 
Was um, it? Yeah, Liberal Democrats. Oh, you fit right in. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then Labour was second. I'm looking forward to exploring Bristol. Yeah, me here. too. I've never, um, never I've only ever went there, like, Bristol shot. Road a couple of times mile. when I was at uni here. Never really, like, did anything very cultural there. It's meant to be a really, really amazing city. Mm. I had a weekend there when my friend Jan was a, a student there, and I went to stay with him for a weekend, and I just loved it. Just loved I the bet you did. <laughs> Why are you saying I bet I did? Because I know what happened on that weekend. I may have met a lady on <laughs> that, that weekend. Fond memories of Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I loved Bristol. <laughs> Why is he cycling literally in the middle of the road? Stop and ask him. Do you know what? I do like that there's no, like, not really any cyclists here. They're not like, angry. That used to really like bother they me are about in London. London. Yeah, London cyclists. And they always have feel rage. like they have right of way no matter where they're going. And it's like, actually, I'm a car. The amount of <laughs> times I've been screamed at by a cyclist in London, <laughs> literally just ambling along on the footpath, but they'll just scream at you anyway because they're so angry <laughs> about life that they just scream at anyone that they see. Black taxi drivers are always angry about Uber, so they're always annoyed. Buses are just like, they think they own the road because they're so big. Cars are just quivering wrecks because they know they're spending about £8,000 every time they step inside their car and drive anywhere in London. I can't get over how much cheaper the nursery fees right. are here. Right, nursery fees are half price is what they are in London. Yeah. My CrossFit Literally is £100 price. Pounds cheaper here so a month. So that's half price as well. Then uh, over half price, 170 yeah. it was a month in London and it's only £17 pounds a month here. Already you Crazy, can see how much money you save just by yeah. moving out, can't you? And there's no one of a bonus near us, so... I know, I'm a bit upset about that, to yeah. be honest. <laughs> Whenever I'm like, oh, I'm just going to pop in there, Steph's yeah. like, no! Every time we leave the house and I walk past it, We'll, we'll pass when I have palpitations. <laughs> this reminds me so much of my childhood, this journey. Right. The car smells slightly strange. It's quite dirty. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's steaming up. She has nice hair, doesn't she? Not really, no. Do you not think so? No. That's not a nice hair. What's wrong with it? Um, too bleached. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Men just see a blonde woman and they're like, oh, nice hair. No, but it was, like, quite full. Like, like uh, a nice full Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mean. Like, the quality of hair. Yeah, I yeah. I the colour. I was talking about the quality. <laughs> I only care about quality, not, not the colour. Right, where are we going? Right, where Mr. Going? Lib Dem. <laughs> God, we missed the mid Mr. Lib Dem. Right. I wanna, I'm going to get you to do that test later, and I'm going to see what you would, Park what you here would the vote front, for. Because um, you'd totally be. We're going to get wet otherwise. You'd be B, you'd be B and P. You'd be KKK. <laughs> Even though they're not a party, they've just come up. <laughs> yeah. You can come if you want. Am I coming? You're so cute. Where else do you think you're going to go? <laughs> I forced the boys to come to home base with me. We need like practical things like curtain poles and laundry baskets and it's a really really rainy day so this seems like the perfect day to come because it's never going to be a fun trip. Which laundry basket should we get honey? <laughs> oh I don't know! There's How so many exciting. to choose from! You don't get much more dad than this bad boy here. This is the perfect dad chair. That's calling. That's calling my inner dad. Bye home base. That was an emotional experience. You ready? Here we go. Let's go and make you knock down some shelves and put some new shelves up. Knock down some shelves? Well, there's two shelves in the baby's room that I need to take down. Do I have to do it? Can we not just get what, like a pro professional in? Because I... In the interest of being frugal, no. Uh... We're going to go to London tonight, Grayson. You, me and Mama. We're going to drive in the car. We've got to leave soon, Baba. We've got to leave in about 15 minutes. Right, let's get ready. Come on, Baba. We are going to a Starbucks event tonight. We've told Grayson it's a party though because He's our little uh, plus one tonight, mm. isn't he? Yeah. They basically invited us down to some sort of experience thing. I don't really know what the experience is or anything about the experience. I only know Hannah can't do it because she's pregnant. Well, it's probably caffeine related. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Man, if it was just like a swimming pool of coffee, I could just jump into it, I'd be so happy. <laughs> I think it kicks off about six. So we'll be there just about when it starts. Yeah. And then we're gonna stay for an hour, an hour and a half, and then drive all the way back to Bath again. Falling. Because one of the guys that runs it, 
to do and I can't do it because I'm pregnant. But I'm so jealous and you're going to love it. Did you hear what you get to do? What? No. I'm not going to tell you because um, you'll ruin the surprise, but I'm really jealous. snow he's been amazing this week like one of those weeks where he's just been really really enjoyable i feel like he's gone through like a big speech development thing some of the things that he's coming out with now are absolutely hilarious but at the same time i'm not gonna lie i'm craving a little bit of alone time i'm used to having my work day like my nursery day and i'm trying to do everything either in the evenings or when he's with me at the moment and it's pretty tricky i think i'm finding it tricky just because i'm pregnant so i'm tired Anyway, I'm really blabbing on now, so I'm going to get on with my meal planning, yay! Being a Londoner, you're always scared of thieves. I seem to have taken this kind of fear of thieves to Bath with me. I've got cameras everywhere around the house with motion detectors, but I just got this installed today. Now this is pretty cool, let me show you. Doorbells are pretty dull normally, you just press them and they make a noise. This one's super smart. So somebody presses the doorbell button and look what happens. Check this out. I press the doorbell like that, it rings, and also a notification goes off on my phone. And look, there I am. I'm recording me, recording myself. How awesome is that? What did you want to do now, Gracie? Put my shoes on. And then, then, as well. and then what are we going to do? Play in the garden. Yeah, what are we going to play? Bobby ball. Yeah. Ow. Ow. That wasn't fucking funny. I hope your book is right. Blood, dry, thunderous light from church to the bunker. I lost you in the running. Cry. I feel really bad because when Hannah's like, Can you put that shelf up in the baby's room? Like most men would be like, Yeah, I can do that. I can handle that. I just almost cry. I have to fight back the tears. I'm not much of a man, I'm afraid. We're just gonna poodle along to the nearest shop and get some stuff for dinner tonight. I'm gonna make a vegetable stew. I've got my- Because Gracie requested it and I was like, if he's requesting it, I'm gonna make I've that. I'm just looking at my calendar and over the next few weeks, we've got some really good fun things planned. A couple of trips away, granddad coming over. We've got the want feed relaunch. And then right at the end of it, we've got a due date for a new baby on the 31st of August. And then our world will turn upside down. White horse runs when the helicopters come when the beasts are at the door from the heavens noxious creatures born. I just want to quit it. 
just say to everyone who is considering not voting just to vote. I'm not going to tell you or suggest who you vote for, that's completely up to you. I'll link to a website down below which asks you loads of questions about your values and then it will tell you what party suits your values the most. So if you're undecided about who to vote for, maybe just use that, I'll link it down below. You'll have to build it all up like that. It's Gracie Cam. Hello guys. <laughs> oh, I've got to up mummy. I'm just making a vegetable stew. It's all softening in there. I feel like it's been one of those days where I've done nothing, but at the same time I've done everything. I feel like a lot of mum days are like that, where you don't really leave the house, but you, you are just like emptying the dishwasher and doing the laundry and cooking and nipping to the shops. And you feel like you don't really sit down for the day, but at the same time you feel like you haven't really accomplished anything. <laughs> Been one of those days but Grayson's been so good today we have just been doing a bit of crafting went for a little walk to the shops together we had a big bubble bath together earlier and yeah it's just been really enjoyable it's been quite a good day just to be at home where we do the outro and I cannot for the life of me remember what the week has been because this week has been so I feel like it's been so busy mm, it has been that I just I'm ready for a lie down you know yeah we had the Starbucks <laughs> thing we drove to we oh drove yeah for that. we went to London we went up to that place over oh, there the park, to, to yeah. park to look at that big nice view I went to play group made some friends yeah you made some friends I went back to the London and visited the old house when it was all empty and it had a bit of a episode <laughs> To change the subject, I'm drinking Bath Ales. It's an ale made in Bath. <laughs> no way! <laughs> it's um, premium amber ale. Yeah, it's quite nice actually. I'll just join you with my water. Cheers. <laughs> you mean straight vodka? <laughs> yeah. But obviously you can't say anything because everyone will go crazy at you. Because <laughs> apparently you're not allowed to drink straight vodka when you're pregnant. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, remember to go register to vote. All the details are down below. Um, have a lovely week. Don't do that, everything wobbles. <laughs> oh, look at that for skill, cross it.